Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So guys, uh, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this with your friends guys and within your WhatsApp student group so that it could reach maximum number of students and everyone will get benefited hope. So guys, uh, please watch full video because if we change any solution in between, you may not be able to note if you skip the video. So do watch full video guys. So now let's see first programming assignment question for programming in Java course. Guys, for the past five years, we are giving the solutions for various courses in NPTEL guys. So with that experience only, we are keep growing and also improving the accuracy of the solutions. So now let's see the first programming solution. Complete this code segment to find the perimeter and area of circle of value of radius. So so perimeter is nothing but circumference guys for uh, for circle there is no perimeter the perimeter is here the circumference itself that is 2 pi r right and radius mean the area is pi r square i think you may have already know this so now let's see the solution guys first of all clear all these comments so clear these comments and now you have to type the code which I will show you, okay? So this is the code guys. Perimeter equals 2 into capital M math dot capital PI into radius. So these three lines you have to copy. That means uh, keep note this guys. So each and every letter, each and every identifier is case sensitive so please exactly type what I have shown here so this is capital S many people are making some small mistakes guys so it's not small s it is capital S system dot out dot it's small it's capital I mean it's small p guys not not capital so there are some adjustments to make because you have to know each and everything here otherwise you will get wrong answers so I have copied this code guys now I'll sh show you the execution so after re removing these comments I am pasting it here so I will zoom this once again for you so this is the code guys you can take screenshot or you can note, note it down by passing the video so now I am zooming it back So now let's see the execution. I'm clicking on compile and run button. So now you can see here. So compilation passed and also one by one public test case also passed. So the status is also showing passed. Now let's click on submit button. So here also you can see that. So private test case has also passed. So our first question is 100% correct. Now let's move on to the second question guys. So programming assignment 2. We have to find the largest among three numbers x, y and z. We have to use if then else construct. So first of all clear this comment. Now, now I will show you the code. So copy it exactly. I mean C and type it exactly. So this is the second question code guys I am going to copy this guys please see it carefully and type carefully even one letter if you make mistake it will result in an error I am getting the solution the output so definitely you will also get the same if you properly watch it and type it right so this is capital S small p so I think there are no uh, big difficulty in this so it's an easy code so hope you have noted it down so now I'm going to paste it on the interface of the compiler that is provided by NPTEL so here I'm going to paste it guys so uh, once again I will zoom this for you for your convenience 
yeah this is the code guys you can pass the video or you can take a screenshot guys So now I am going to zoom it back, I am going to click on compile and run button now. So now you can see that the same code. So compilation passed, public test case also, one, there is only one public test case and it is also showing passed. Now let us click on submit button, private test cases. So if you see here, there are two private test cases and both are passed. So our solution is 100% correct. Now let's move on to the third programming assignment. So guys, before moving into this third programming assignment, so I want to show you that we have already prepared programming in Java, previous MCQs guys. So with nearly five years of experience in NPTEL, we have collected all the previous year questions guys. So for 150 bits you will uh, have to purchase for 300 rupees only guys so this is up to 3 members access only if you want to purchase for 5 members and the bits also increased guys 300 mcqs but the price is not doubled like because you are, we are providing only for 500 only that is up to 5 members access that means if you give me 5 email ids for different persons so you 5 of you will get the same 300 bits for 500 only that means for each person it, it takes only 100 rupees only right but you have to form five members group mandatorily to get this for 500 if you are one person also you can purchase this for 500 only so if you are if your classmates are doing the same course then you can purchase guys up to five members access we will give for 500 and the bits also 300 bits guys here there is 150 bits for 300 rupees so up to three members access we are giving guys my choice is to uh, make you to take these 300 bits back because you will get more mcqs more mcqs means more practice right so it's better to take 300 mcqs guys and the syllabus coverage is also very high for this 300 pack we have also prepared a sample question youtube membership guys you go to our channel and click on join button and make 89 rupees per pack but that for only one month guys but this is till the exam day guys pdf access till the exam day and the search option is also available it which makes you easy to revise and easy to scroll the pdf before the exam if you want any of these packs you can message me to this email already many people have taken the pdfs guys regarding various subjects so if you want to purchase these pdfs you can mail me to this guys only if you want to purchase then only mail me guys if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section itself now so now let's get back to the solutions so third programming assignment calculate sum of all numbers divisible by 3 from 0 to n and print the sum so first of all remove this comment I am going to show you the third question code now so guys this is the third question code I am going to copy this now so note it down guys you can take screenshot or you can pass the video this is i guys i minus one so now i'm going to execute that guys so hope you have noted it down now let's get back to the interface so i am pasting it here i'm zooming it for you once again so this is the code guys this is the code so now I am going to zoom it back. Hope you have noted it down now by now. So I am clicking on compile and run button here. So now let's see the test cases. So here it's showing failed guys. So the problem is. 
so I have found the error guys so just I am zooming this for you once again so here we did not uh, declared it as integer of before t so before this t variable type int guys int t int t so type this just one data type guys int that's it you will get the answer so now let's see the solution once again I am zooming it back so I am going to again compile and run guys so now if you see here so compilation is passed and status is also passed after ignoring presentation error it's it's not an error guys it's just a space so it's just a uh, new line so no need to worry about that you have you can ignore that so the status is passed let's click on submit button now so after, after click, clicking the submit button now you can see the private test cases both are passed so our solution is 100% correct now let's move on to the fourth question guys so fourth question checking whether the number is an Armstrong, Armstrong number or not so first of all as usual remove these comments now I will show you the code for fourth question guys so this is the fourth question code guys copy till here So this is the fourth question code guys please note it down carefully even if you miss one letter also it will give you error we have already shown that in the previous question right so we have missed the int data type then it gave wrong answer then after we corrected it it will it gave correct answer right so hope you have noted it down so now let's go to the execution part guys if I am getting the answer that means you will also get that answer guys so once again I am zooming this so this is the total code guys that we have to type so hope you have noted it down even now itself so now I am zooming it back so now let's click on sub compile and run button so now you can see that compilation is passed so status is also passed now let's click on submit button for checking private test cases so now let's see whether it passed or not yeah guys here if you see that both the test cases are also passed for fourth question also so our solution is 100% correct now let's move on to the final question that is fifth programming assignment question regarding week one so first of all erase all the comments so now let's see the code for fifth question guys so before getting into that i want to make you once again remind that so guys we have collected previous year nptl java bits guys so 150 mcqs cost is 300 and the access is for up to 3 members guys and for 300 bits it is 500 up to 5 members access you can get guys already many people have mailed me regarding this so if you want to purchase you can mail me to this email guys I will provide this email in the description box and also in the comment section so please spread this word within your whatsapp student groups and form 5 groups so that you will get benefited I recommend to you to take this 300 bits back guys because more bits means more practice so now let's get back to the final solution so fifth question so this you can copy from here to here guys So from this int temp 0 to this final print statement.
so this is the fi uh, full full code guys please copy it carefully so hope you have noted it down now let's get back to the interface so here i will show you i am zooming this for you so this is the entire code you have to type guys so hope you have noted it down now let's get back to the solution so i am going to click on compile and run button here once again so here if you see compilation passed one by one passed so status is also passed now let's click on submit button to check private test cases passed or not so if you see here both the private test cases are also passed so our solution is 100% correct for all the five questions so friends these are the solutions for week one assignment regarding programming questions so hope this video helpful for you guys if you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this within your WhatsApp groups to your friends guys, in your student circle so that it will reach maximum number of people and do think about this guys, you, no one in YouTube is providing this many bits and no one is providing MCQs guys, only our channel is doing that, so keep that in mind, so we are providing 300 bits for just 500 only guys, that too up to for 5 members guys. So you can mail me to this email so note it down or we will provide this in description box and also in the comment section we will pin, pin that guys. So that's it guys for this video so keep supporting me like this so until the next video goodbye thank you.